All right, so today we're going to go through Chatbase and explore the best features I think most people miss inside of Chatbase. We really prioritize a clean and simple interface, but sometimes that requires hiding away some of the best features because they're not part of the core feature set of Chatbase. If you don't know what Chatbase is, that's okay. I'm happy to introduce you. Chatbase allows you to build custom branded chatbots with your own data, running on the latest AI models, and it's also free to sign up and create your first chatbot. Just head over to chatbase.co. All right, let's get started. So number one, if you click this little button on your chatbot's playground, there's a big button that says, save to chatbot. This button is the difference between a mediocre chatbot and an incredible chatbot. You can adjust your model, and most importantly, you can rewrite your instruction prompt here on the left. Then when you're ready, test them here on the right by interacting with the chatbot. When you're happy with the changes you've made, click the big save button. That is when things actually change within your chatbot. Now next, I can't tell you how many people miss this button. Over here on the right is the compare button, and it takes you to an entirely different view. This is like the pro testing view. It allows you to run the same test but while comparing performance from multiple prompts and models at the same time. While the playground is great for improving the instruction prompt, the compare mode is especially amazing for testing different models. Now, if we jump over to the activity page, you can see the small revise answer button. For any responses that you don't like from your chatbot, you can just copy the bad one and then paste it below to edit. Then you may not realize this, but if you go to sources, you will actually see those revised answers under Q&A. That way they're easy to find and manage. Next on the list, if you navigate to analytics and click on topics, we see this screen that highlights the various topics discussed by your users. But most people don't know that you can click view all and it shows all the topics that the AI has detected. But then if you click manage topics, you can actually add your own. And then if you toggle freeze topics, you can actually lock it and sort all conversations by a few primary topics. Number five, this isn't a chatbot setting, but most people forget that these chatbots support 80 plus languages. And that's amazing because these they support these languages regardless of the training language. So I can train my chatbot in English, but then it can communicate my information to a customer in Spanish or French, for example. This is incredible for breaking down language barriers and allows you to help more people. Now for number six, if we go to settings in our account dashboard and scroll down to plans, we can actually see a selection of add-ons that are available inside of your Chatbase account. If you're an older Chatbase user, you may have no idea these options are available now. There are also white label options like using your own custom domain and removing the Chatbase branding from your chatbots. Okay, everyone, I hope this quick video helped you to better understand Chatbase and maybe gave you some new ideas for your own chatbots. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if, if you still have yet to join Chatbase, head over to chatbase.co to create a free account. I'll make sure to put a link in the description of this video as well. All right, I will see you guys in the next one.